what you all wanted to know. The unique words that Tennesseans say, there's plenty of them, that kind of leave out-of-towners with their heads scratching a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Tennesseans have created their own slang and phrases that you may need to know if you live here. Yeah, so we went over these. Matt's from Boston, for those who didn't know. I'm from Chicago, so the northerners here didn't know all, the, all of these. Okay, so first one, honky-tonk. That refers to a casual bar where you can find typically some country music, maybe some food, drinks, and you can find many honky-tonks on Broadway in Nashville. So, for example, let's meet at the honky-tonk tonight at 9 p.m. I knew honky-tonk. I knew that one, too, but they get a little more <laughs> difficult. I did not know this one. This one's probably a little bit more controversial, but <laughs> some say buggy is used when you're out at the grocery store, putting items in your cart, that basket on wheels. <laughs> For example, I have a lot of my items on my grocery list. I'll need a buggy. We, we didn't know that one. No, what do you, what would you call it? I'd use it like a shopping cart. Yeah, I just I've need a cart. I've heard carriage before. Carriage, okay, that might be a little bit more northern. Yeah. Okay, next, hey, this is supposed to be maybe a term of endearment, but it's actually quite the opposite here. Bless your heart, it's used as sarcasm or as an insult rather than genuinely wishing someone well. For example, maybe singing uh, that isn't your specialty and someone saying, bless your heart. So kind of slamming you in the process. <laughs> Northerners have no idea that that's a little bit of a, a slam. They totally think, oh, that's so oh, nice. Thank yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> like, that's a compliment. Also, a word used in the North to describe a snow sled is something you wear on your head here, toboggan, worn out outside while playing in the snow to help you keep warm. Yeah, okay. I, mean, I see that. We I think it's a flood. Sled. Yeah. yeah. And to end it off, cattywampus is a term used when things go badly. For example, everything has gone cattywampus with me this week. So Matt and I clearly have some catching up to do. We will work on it. <laughs> All right, still ahead coming up here.